Well, they took old Un down to the graveyard, and they buried him in the sand. And every locomotive train that comes a-roaring by says, There lies a thing playing man, oh lord. There lies a thing playing man. Anyway, more Dark Savior. We've got a little mausoleum ahead of us. It will be quite short. Actually, what did that say on the overhang? Prisoner's Cemetery. They spelled it like Pet Cemetery. Weird. Anyway, there's some booze over here, which I missed, but that gives you an opportunity to uh, see the uh, zombie hand grab that is the effect of the death floor here. Much better. Because if there's one thing Garen will always risk his life for, it's a good bottle of Pruno. Well, yay for having lots of points. Anyway, moving right along. Oh, these uh, have a little bit of actual text on their texture. Uh, somebody I can't read died September something, 1969, from the cradle to the grave. Interesting, but not particularly important. Anyway, that's another short dungeon, but we'll have other bits of mausoleum ahead of us in the near future. In the meantime, here's another communique. Get it? Communique? Yeah, I deserve to be uh, executed for that one. Anyway. You know, when people say ugh in this game, it tends to mean they're dying, so uh, this can't really be a good sign. Also, the fact that she's sending emergency signals, as Jack is apparently well aware. He's just full of information, that little snake bird. Oh, there's another rug. You know, Kay, there's such a thing as being too independent. Ah, well, not much we can do about that right now. We'll just continue on our way into another prisoner's cemetery. And this one is nothing but a few dropping blocks. No great threat for a bounty hunter of our caliber. And I'm hung up in the tree and the frame rate is freaking out on me. Ah, uh, recording video from a Saturn emulator is always an adventure. And hey, we're back in Central Park, and everyone has been really fucked up. Also, there seems to be a fair amount of slime all over the place. Apparently, whatever body Bilan is inhabiting these days has, uh, decided to make, take another tour of the region. And oh my god, he even destroyed, uh, the torture wood shop. What a monster. Oh, nothing much for it but to take another trip down- oop. Not quite what I wanted to do. Ah. See, I was trying to jump back on the flagstone there, or whatever you call it, and then just drop down the, uh, the shaft, but I'm uncoordinated, so we won't be doing that. And it looks like JJ City has fared even worse than the uh, surface world. Ate everyone from the head, huh? Well, that's surprisingly merciful of Bilan. At least he didn't need everyone from the feet up. This guy has a very, very long dying statement for some reason. But at least he confirms what Bruno's... Uh, own last word suggested to us, which is that Sage Alibaba can be found in Copper Castle. Always good to have confirmation. More dead people covered in slime. The old Bilan Bukake. Okay, you're racist or something. You're 
gonna have to come to grips with it, Kay. You're a red shirt. And that can't be good at all. That's a little more sense of perspective than I would have given Garion credit for, considering he seems to be a little bit thick-headed at times. And Garion with the radical anti-government rhetoric. Oh, dearie me. And he's growing, too. Well, that's always good to hear. He even took out the cheerleaders. What a bastard. Anyway, let's pay a quick visit to our good semi-friend Kaiser. And then head on topside. To see what's become of increasingly large Milan. Top floor, toilet paper, ladies' lingerie. Bruno, illicit pornography. Oh, well there we have it. The growing Balan went and smashed his way through the 150,000 volt fence. That's super. tools of the government or anyone else. A cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. I'm not real sure about your bounty hunter's intuition there, Garion. As far as we've seen so far, Bilan isn't really much for bothering with abductions. He just tends to rip people apart. Anyway, we'll make a quick stop in with Regina just for shits and giggles. Give her some booze. But the rest is all for Garion. And here we have a signpost indicating that, of course, Dead Man's Castle is back the way that we came. Golden Castle on the right, Silver Castle up ahead, and Copper Castle, our next destination, to the left. So that's where we'll go. Incidentally, the uh, three metallic castles are a much bigger deal in every other parallel than they are here. Silver Castle in particular, but the others as well, are a, another good example of how uh, Parallel 1 is a relative easy mode. And apparently Copper Castle has been expecting us. Okay, apparently Jailer's Island will take pretty much anyone. Prisoner Mummy knows our friend. Also, dude, where is the rest of you? Yeah, you and the rest of us, Jack. Garion, pick up the book, would you? There we go. Oh, and it's the Diary of Uda. Apparently that was Alibaba. Can't say I was expecting him to be a huge mummified head. But anyway, we are getting somewhat short on time, so we will save uh, perusing the diary for the next installment. As always, this has been Un. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.